Well, welcome to Weekly Wisdom. Today I want to begin with a simple question, an odd question, but kind of simple. Here's the question. Where are your ears pointed? That's the question. Where are your ears pointed? Listen to these words from Proverbs chapter 17, verse 4. A wicked person listens to deceitful lips. A liar pays attention to a destructive tongue. Do you notice the activity happening in each parts, the kind of the couplets of this one single verse? A wicked person listens to deceitful lips. They're, they're listening, they're tuning in, that's where their ears are pointed. A liar pays attention to a destructive tongue. Pays attention. All of a sudden something's coming. It might be destructive, but all of a sudden, boy, they're focusing on that. They're engaged in that. Have you ever seen a dog, then they hear something? Have you ever seen a dog be sitting and looking a certain way and they hear something? They don't turn their head sometimes, but their ears go, eek. Have you ever noticed that there's dogs, the dog's ears will actually tilt or tip towards what they're listening to? We do the same thing. We tip our ears, we tilt. We may eventually turn our head and our eyes and our heart towards what we're hearing. But this, this proverb gives us warning. It's saying, don't listen to deceitful lips. Don't pay attention to a destructive tongue. And so let me ask you this question. Where do you tip your ears? What news do you listen to? What voices do you listen to? What podcasts do you listen to? What people do you listen to? And are they deceptive and troublemaking? We, if we're filtering those things into our mind, it's going to affect us eventually. And we all choose to direct our hearing towards certain things. What voices are speaking into your life? Here's some questions to ask as you're, as you're trying to figure out where to tilt your ears, where to direct your listening. Is the tone destructive? Sometimes just the tone of some people, it just, it comes across and it's a destructive tone. Be careful about tilting your ears that direction. Are the words deceptive? Are these truthful words? Or do you go, I kind of like this person, but I don't know if I really believe half of what they say. That's a concern in our world today, right? Is the spirit honoring to Jesus? The spirit of how they speak? Whether it's music, whether it's news, whether it's podcasts, whether it's people, our ears, sometimes like a dog's ear, something comes and all of a sudden, boop, we kind of move our ears in a certain direction. And sometimes as we begin to listen, it affects our mind, our hearts, and even our lives. And so this Proverbs gives us a warning. A wicked person listens to deceitful lips. Listen to enough deceitful lips, you become more and more wicked because of what you're hearing. A liar pays attention to destructive and destructive tongue. Watch out what you listen for. Lord Jesus, here's our prayer. That you would help us to kind of guide our ears, that we would notice what we're listening to, that even, God, even today, we would listen to that which brings life and hope and is, is uh, filled with joy and goodness. And if we are listening consistently to things that are not going to bring life to us and to others, help us direct our ears in another place to something else that is more life-giving. Give us an attentiveness to discover how we listen and how that impacts us, we pray in Jesus' name. Amen. Well, God's blessings on you as you walk through the rest of your day and the rest of your week. If you're part of Shoreline Church, I always remind you, 9 o'clock, 11 o'clock, join us on campus here in Monterey or online anywhere in the world. And if you're not part of Shoreline Church, join a church locally somewhere. If you're part of church, get engaged there. Be a blessing among God's people. Have a great week.